Now, the Pope is politically of the left, global warming and all that, but he's just given a big speech saying surrogacy should be banned worldwide, carrying a baby for someone else. He said it's exploitation and deplorable. Here he is. Despecable, la práctica de la cosiddetta maternidad surrogata, que lede gravemente la dignidad de la dona y del filio. Esa es fundada sobre el esfrutamiento de una situación de necesidad material de la madre. Now, being a surrogate for money is banned in Australia, but the Pope isn't just against this commercial surrogacy. Joining me is my Tuesday panel, Will Kingston, host of Australiana, a weekly podcast from The Spectator on politics and culture, and Danica DiGiorgio, who you'll also be seeing this year as the host of a new chat show called The Jury, premiering in February. Danica, I'll start with you as the Pope right, ban surrogacy. No, I personally think, uh, Andrew, it's a completely ridiculous comment by the Pope. In the end, there are a number of reasons why people choose a surrogate if they want to be a parent. And I just think, who am I to judge that as a person. I do not believe in commercial surrogacy, where, uh, whereby you have to pay a surrogate uh, to have the child. I believe that that uh, presents a whole different moral issue. But in this day and age, Andrew, to call for a complete ban, I just think it's completely out of touch. And, and once again, uh, the leftist Pope has just shown himself as being completely out of touch with reality. That said, Will, there is one other person who's not consulted in a surrogacy, and that's the child. Uh, are you? Uh, do you have more sympathy for the Pope? No, I uh, no, I don't, Andrew. Uh, uh, my first tip is that you won't hear me advocate for the ban of anything on your show in 2024. I am <laughs> sick and tired of the government telling us what we can and cannot do, of being the arbiters of moral authority, as Danica was inferring, as opposed to leaving it to the individual and the family unit. Now, I understand the concerns around exploitation when it comes to surrogacy. That's an argument to regulate it effectively. That's not an argument to ban it. And secondly, to Danika's point, we need to be promoting things that support the growth, the creation of strong family units. And if this enables people who can't otherwise easily have kids to have kids, that's something that we should be endorsing. Why are we paying this man, Matt Thistlethwaite, and his staff when he's the Minister for the Republic and our promise is to actually not push it that much after all, given that... You know, the voice was defeated last year's referendum and they can't hold, uh, don't dare go to another on, on, on a republic. Here he is. Uh, the current method of selecting our head of state is undemocratic. It doesn't represent modern Australian values and that's something that we want to begin a discussion with Australians on in the longer term. But at the moment, our priority is cost of living relief for Just Australia. to clarify. So the Minister for the Republic has got a goal that's been pushed out to the never-never. What is the point of Matt Thistlethwaite, uh, Danica? Uh, well, that's a wonderful question, Andrew. What is the point? We've got an assistant <laughs> minister for the Republic <laughs> without a Republic on the agenda, and now that por portfolio is uh, seemingly redundant. So why are we paying us taxpayers to have a Republic portfolio when it's not even going to be explored. In fact, it should never, ever have been put there in the first place. Portfolios or ministerial roles, as we know, are for general day-by-day -day policy decisions that are going to impact Australians' lives, not for promotional purposes, not for a whim and a prayer and a, a possibility for Labor policy in the future, it's for something that may or, or may not happen, as the Assistant Minister has said uh, now. I do wonder, though, Andrew, will it make for more uh, cordial uh, arrangements between King Charles and the Prime Minister when he does eventually come to Australia later this year? But I just think I don't understand what the point now is <laughs> of having this portfolio. It's so weird, isn't it, Will? Here's a, an assistant minister for an objective that might be, uh, yeah, it could be all right in the long term if we ever get round to it, not that I'm going to actually be doing much to actually achieve it, yet he's got the title and presumably some funding for it. I mean, how does this make sense? doesn't make sense, Andrew. There is no point to Matt this way, but there's no point to a great many number of government ministers. Uh, we, like many Western governments, have dramatically overstepped the ambit 
of responsibility of the traditional roles of government. Wouldn't it be nice this year, instead of ministries for innovation or the Republic or, you know, youth or women, we said the government is responsible for ensuring the economy strong, protecting the borders, making sure defence is all in order and getting the basics right. I think one of the reasons why we don't do any of that stuff as well as we could is because there isn't that strategic focus. The government thinks they can solve all of our problems and instead they don't solve any of them particularly effectively.